So you want to have a discussion in your pairs about whether you think this is a religious thing or a non-religious thing. <laughs> So we'll give you this few minutes. Remember, just to find, we want to make sure we have a good reason because we're going to ask each other. I don't know. It's period. So it's not what I'm saying. All right. All cards placed? Okay. Now, I'm going to read through where your classmates have positioned their card. I'm sure at some point you're going to feel the urge to want to contest, maybe. But under the religion column, we have believing in a higher being or power, having faith, every living thing has a spirit, for example, trees, nature, and so on forth. Um, thunder happens when Zeus is angry, the sun god, doing bad things, you won't get into heaven, no belief in God. Oops, I did that twice. Huh, and you both put it in the same column. That's, that's great. All right, no belief in God. So those are under the concept of religion. Let's go on to non-religion. Science gives us the answers in life. Big Bang created Earth and therefore us. Humans evolved from apes. Those are non-religion statements. And over here in the question mark, we have the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, also known as Pastafarians. And heaven is in the sole of my favorite shoe. Do we think at this time there's any of them that are placed in one category or another that shouldn't be there? We've got, we've got a few already. All right. So, do you want to have a quick think about it, guys? Those of you who are not really sure, do you want to just dive in? Go just go for it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, um, Bonnie, you had your hand up. Which one do you think? I don't think that having faith should be placed under religion because having faith doesn't actually specify it's a religious faith. I can have faith in Sarah that she will do well. It's not really clear that it's religion related. It's just people have implied that it's religion related. Okay. I, when I was little, I had faith in Santa. Santa. Like while you were saying, like you can have faith in like uh, Santa or someone like that. And um, you don't like worship Santa or like Santa isn't a religion, it's just a thing you have faith in because you're told that's right. So I believe, um, yeah, that's why it's not kind of central to religion and you can really have faith in anything. The fact of having faith, it has to kind of come from somewhere because how do you just instinctively know that believing or having faith in something is an actual thing to you? How do you know that you actually believe in it? Does it is it derived from someone else? Like, does it come, like the Bible, is that why people have belief in God or is it something within yourself or anything like that? If, like, where does it come from in a whole? Well, faith doesn't necessarily have to be in a higher power. So the faith could be either religion or non-religion. You can have faith in a person, as in you just trust their ability to do things, and you could have faith in the high power, which is the religion side. So it could be either, depending on which way you argue it from. And what type of person you are, because if you're a religious person, like Bonnie was saying before, then you associate faith with your religion. But if you're non-religious, you associate it with more trust and in other people. So do we want to move faith out of the religion side? Can we put it in the middle? Yeah, I'm reading the question, Mom, because you can contest it either way. 
Okay, so it goes in the question mark. Are, and the original placers, what do you guys think? How does that, have, has, have you do, because you had mentioned that you wanted to maybe place it in the question mark, but you had kind of gone with this. Does, is what everyone else saying aligning with what you were trying to articulate? Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you, want, you guys want to move it into the question mark then? All right, Jake, what do you think? Uh, there's the flying spaghetti monster one over there, which, it's, you know, some people could believe in it. It could seem ridiculous, but some people could believe in that honestly. And first to like uh, place that in a position, you have to define what a religion is, and the general form is religion is a guideline or something you believe in, and you live by that. And the flying spaghetti monster, I guess some people live by that, so it could be a religion. It's a set of beliefs that they follow throughout their life. Yeah, yes. I think because I think that's um, the ch the flying spaghetti monster is as valid as God in any other higher belief because there's no proof of it, and yet it's still. I'm still classed if people believe in it, they're in the same category as God and other religions. So, I could, yeah. But the thing about that one is it was created as a mock religion by non religious people. So, they don't actually believe it, they're just trying to comment on religion. So, if, they, if there are people that believe in it, I highly doubt that. But It's a way to satire religion. Yeah, because they don't actually believe that. It was created for that reason to mock religion, like those other religions, like Last Thursdayism and all that stuff. Jediism. Jediism. Yeah. So, what makes Jediism a religion and that not? Because no, it, it's like so a Jedi mock religion. No, but like the point of the reason why it was created is to show that no matter what you believe in, it's all just a belief, so it should be treated equally, not yeah. necessarily one's more important than the other because they're all belief systems, so it should be weighed the same. I see it as a different way. I see it as like degrading, degrading it, not helping it to make it all equal. It's just making it sound stupid. So let's move past the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. And if we want, we can always come back to it. But I do want us to get to a, a little bit of a discussion where we discuss your questions, OK? Under non-religion, we have things l that pertain to what? what? What do you see a commonality theme is amongst the stuff under the non-religion? Science. 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 But people have faith in science the same as people have faith in religion. What is a religious faith? Religious faith. Religious faith. Religious faith. Religious faith. But also with science, it says that we say that just because we, cannot, we have not proved it, that it is true, it's kind of like religion in that aspect. So like with science, like you know how like you cannot prove something, so we cannot prove that there is no aliens, therefore then there, there is a possibility of intelligent life. With religion, we cannot prove that there is no God, therefore there is a possibility of God kind of thing. Yeah, but That's isn't that one thing. of the um, But saying there's a possibility of God is different to saying there is God and this is what he says. Yeah, yeah and this we're is not this arguing that there isn't says. a possibility. <laughs> We're not arguing that there isn't the possibility of God. We just say we can't say it, and you can't like. There's a the wasn't there a fallacy about you can't. Uh, um, what was it? Ignorance. 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 Yeah, like appeal to ignorance. There's not. It's not there. Therefore, it is. You can't prove it that it's there. Therefore, it is. The, a lack of evidence yeah. for something. That God doesn't exist. Therefore, God does exist. I think going off. The, um, the proof thing. The, I think the people's belief in a god or a religion kind of automatically proves it ex its existence. Like, not physical existence, but I think more of a mental existence and how it gives hope and faith. And I think, like, science, you act believe in science, like, you believe there's a big bang theory and, like, that humans evolved from apes, but you don't really, like, worship it because. You, you've like got the evidence there, you've got the proof, so and there's no like guarantee that you're gonna go somewhere after you live your physical life. Therefore that there, there's no point in worshipping it. And I think that's why it's not a religion, because like all the religions like Christianity, Catholicism, all that, like they worship their God because they believe they're going somewhere after their life. I think we need to establish what is a religion, because we haven't really there's no real definition of what actually is a religion. Is it that 
if you have a religion, you have to worship something. Or if you have a religion, it's belief or it's faith. You haven't established what actually is religion. Because that's what we're arguing about, about that spaghetti on the thing. So we need to establish what is a religion. I think we were saying what before that having faith and belief is what a religion thrives on. And if there's not that faith and belief, then it kind of goes dormant, I guess. So religion relies on people, like science relies on more factual evidence kind of things. I feel like you guys are moving towards the purpose of religion, right? Or, or where, it's, where it has its foundation or why we have it. We want to figure out some of the criteria for religion in order to be able to determine. Then we can talk about the role that religion plays, okay? And that was, I think, what Lindsay was constantly going back to, okay? I'm going to stop us somewhere around there. So I've, I've added... From what, I've, what I was listening to in your um, discussions, I've added that, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you agree that we don't need proof for religion, like hard proof. And maybe that's something that makes religion different from science. So some of the things what we've come up with is faith, belief, worship, and no need for proof. Is there any other criteria that you think needs to be up there in order for us to define a religion? Have, okay, Felicity. Uh, so with the worship, I think you don't need to just worship the religion itself. You need to worship the higher power that is dictating that religion and your beliefs. So, does there, so should we add a higher power or, or be, a yeah. god? Yeah, can we well, can we use the the term god loosely, and everyone knows that it, it's some sort of higher power? We're not defining it. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to believe in a higher being for there to be a religion. Could we could continue talking about these and keep going deeper and deeper and figuring out how one criteria that we might have thought we don't actually think it actually applies to all ideas of, of a religion. And then, so then we have to try and reevaluate. We can keep going with that. And it's, by all means, we'll do that over the course of this unit. But what I would like for somebody to do for us is to help summarize what you think we've accomplished today through our discussion. So what is, what is, even if it's just one thing that you've taken away, I want you guys to reflect a little bit on the discussion that we've had today. You can talk about the activity, you can talk about something somebody said, but I want somebody to try and to give us a little bit of a summary. I think we found out some differences between what's considered a religion and what's not considered a religion. Okay, so good, so we've, we've figured out some things, but you're not saying that we figured out all things. Not all of them, but definitely some key points. Good, yeah. I think that um, we kind of like disregarded what the world says about religion, and what like religions are and what type of religions there are. We've actually like created our own like category um, for like what is a religion and what we can fit under the category of religion. Good. Anybody else want to? We also have this idea that religion is more intrapersonal, like it's not a constant throughout the universe, it's within our brains and so Any last final remarks? No? All right. You guys have come up with some really great questions. We are going to take some of these questions and we're going to build it into part of our discussion for next well i'll see you guys tomorrow so tomorrow's class but these are your questions i've just kind of taken some of your statements and actually turned them into questions but this is what you guys came up with and these are some of our criteria that we've come up with so um good well thank you guys and uh, i hope we've come to some sort of a uh, little bit more clarity on this do you, did you guys feel the conversation going a little bit deeper when, when we got going? Was it a tangible thing that you could feel? <laughs> <laughs>